right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, family? Welcome to Solomon's Vineyard. This is Old School Sunday. Y'all, I am back from my mini vacation. <laughs> um, a lot of you know that I uh, went to a wedding this weekend, to my cousin's wedding. It was amazing. It was awesome, y'all. If you want to see any pictures from the wedding, just go check out my mama's Facebook page, Mary Wallace Facebook, and uh, I think Mary Wallace on TikTok, and you'll get a chance to see some of the, pic the photos and pictures. I think I'm in some of them. Go check that out. Also, I did a vlog earlier. It should be already uh, up where I was in the, the drug emporium there in Lafayette showing some of uh, what they had to offer guys and that was one of the highlights of my trip the wedding uh, the reception I had a great time y'all I, I had so much fun I didn't get a chance to really do a lot of recording and then y'all know with memory and, and uh, with iCloud and backs backups I couldn't really do much recording uh, but check out some of that y'all also check out the vlog the short vlog I did and you can see where um, I went uh, to the Drug Emporium. They had all kind of fragrances. I'm talking vintage, some of the newer stuff. And man, I, I, I picked something out for Old School Sunday. Um, and we'll get into that shortly. My scent of the evening, y'all, is African leather. As you see, uh, I have on uh, the, the dashiki along with the, yeah, all right. So I want to smell like Africa, representing the motherland, y'all. Shout out to the motherland, Africa, baby. This is African Leather by Memo Parish, y'all. I'm talking cardamom, leather, along with saffron, some vetiver and patchouli. You got oud, cumarin, what I love, and a beautiful geranium. The, the geranium in here, man, I'm, I normally uh, kind of don't like geranium because it gives off this, almost this Vic Sab smell. It's in Layton as well, but it's done very nicely in this fragrance. The cumarin, cardamom man, uh, patchouli and oud. This is gorgeous, y'all. Animalic, African leather by Memo Paris, all right? Also, if you're new to the channel, y'all already know what time it is. You know what to do, man. Just go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. Okay, right there, hit the bell, boom. Tap on all, and when I upload, you get a notification to your feed. Let you know uh, your boy is on the air. Also, leave a comment down in the thread. You heard me? And I'll get back at you. Okay, here's our scent, y'all. By Done by Anique Minardo by the House of Lacoste. I've been really on Lacoste heavy. Just rocked uh, L1212 white. And I need to break out my magnetic, so I'll probably wear that soon. But by Mon uh, Anique Minardo, y'all, a 2004 release. This is Lacoste Red style in play. Y'all see the box red with the silver accent. The gator is gone. All right. Now, I know they changed the bottle. So I'm going to throw up the old bottle. So don't nobody write me saying, Mac, that's the new bottle. I know. All right. Here's the new bottle right here. You have a cap that clicks on very well. See that? Uh, silver with the red uh, ring around the cap with a little dent in the top. You got just a little red down there. It turns from clear to red, all right? There's your name. Uh, I like these shutters. They look like shutters on the side. I like this. And I don't know. I remember seeing this bottle, though. I rocked this fragrance real heavy back in the day, 2004. Uh, let's go ahead, y'all. I got this from the um, Drug Emporium. Shout out to Alexis, who, uh, I, I, who, who um, helped me out while I was down there. She gave me a number, so I will be purchasing fragrances from there a lot now. Now that I know where to go, they got all the stuff I've been looking for, some discontinued stuff. Amazing. Uh, and real cheap. 3.4 ounce bottle. I believe this was $44, this 3.4 ounce bottle. Ah, look, well, put your bottle up and your notes. You got green apple with Thuja, some bergamot, okay? Thuja is like a woody note, cypress, a woody green note, along with that my favorite note in this scent, pine tree. Jasmine, you get that cedar uh, with some vetiver and patchouli, or patchoula, all right? My God, you get that beautiful apple. That green apple really stands out in the opening with that jasmine, y'all, and guess what else? Pine 
tree. I should have put a pine tree behind me, but you know, Suge slipping. She ain't doing her job now. I'm about to get on. All right. So you got this gorgeous powdery, because to me, I get this powderiness between the, the green apple and jasmine, y'all. That's what really stands out in this fragrance, the pine tree and the thuja. You get that mainly throughout this fragrance. Definitely, oh my God, smells good. Compliment Gil, I can tell you right now. You can rock this, I would say, year round. This can easily be a signature scent, very easy. Smells good, it's masculine. Oh God. I just love it. I remember this scent, y'all, way back. This was the fragrance that introduced me to Lacoste. Okay, Lacoste Red. Definitely versatile. You can dress this up. You see how I'm dressed. Uh, and I would wear it with this. You can wear it out on the town, out to dinner, throw on a suit and go hard in the paint, slip you on a Lacoste t-shirt uh, and spray it up, you know, and be good. Office safe, I, I, you know, it's not that strong, but it, you know, it gives you about a good scent trail, a nice uh, two feet of projection, and I would say this is about a six, seven, eight, nine hour fragrance, y'all. Depending on how much you spray, uh, will determine um, your performance, okay? But it smells good. Uh, I like the presentation. I love the scent. I love the green apple and the pine tree. All the rest of the notes to me just there. But I love the pine tree with the green apple and the jasmine. It does it, it does it for me in this scent, okay? So 2004 Lacoste red style in place. So it's a casual scent. Uh, you can, you know, swag out and go play. You dig? Put on some red and you're going to fit this bottle, this fragrance. I promise you. My old school Sunday scent of this Sunday, okay? So check out my vlog. Check out this video. Let me know in the comment thread, do you still have this bottle or do you have the old bottle? Do you remember this scent? What do you think about this scent? I know everybody not going to like everything, okay? But this one here kind of hard not to like. And we don't hear much about Lacoste fragrances. Lately though, lately on Facebook, I've been seeing a few posts with uh, some of the cost fragrances, this one included. Um, the L1212 White seems to be one of their most popular scents over the last maybe five, six years, y'all. And I love it myself, okay? Yeah, to me, it drives down powdery and floral, uh, green from the pine tree. Seem to keep that green apple note around a while. I can't wait to wear this uh, fragrance again. I had a, a little experience with it uh, the other night. I sprayed it on my arm. I got uh, right up to about the fifth hour, guys. To me, it's not, uh, doesn't make too many changes. Uh, to me, I say it gets a little earthy. But other than that, you keep somewhat of the same scent. But the scent trail, man, with the wind blowing, during the fall season or spring, not saying you can't rock it during the summer, but fall and spring, this will smell so good, y'all. Lacoste Red style and play, guys, all right? Listen, leave a comment down below. Let me know how your weekend was. I'm sorry I didn't go live, y'all. I didn't want to come on live, and I know I got in late and had to unpack and all of that and eat. In fact, I'm getting ready to eat in a minute. Also, I know that many of you got to work in the morning, so probably wouldn't have had many people uh, at all, but that's okay. Uh, I may go live on Tuesday night, or, or I may wait till Friday. Y'all let me know what y'all want me to do, all right? So I'm out of here, guys. Old School Sunday. I love y'all, man. I'll see y'all soon, man. God bless. Peace. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay.